Hello, I'm Tom Intier. Welcome to tonight. Tonight we're going to talk about English language in Thailand. And joining me as a guest tonight is Christopher Wright, uh, an English language so. shop owner. You you have a school shop where owner. you teach English. Yeah, well, I actually call it a club. It's not not really a school because, um, in my opinion, I think I think language in Thailand has been I mean fed in the wrong way. Because um, actually, in my opinion, language I think there's the two two sort of roads. There's the, the theoretical road and the practical road, but you know, like on the streets English, you know, what I mean? which is what the Thais need. But in, in Thailand, mostly they've been, you know, channeled down this road of theoretical stuff, all the grammar, you know, memorizing vocabulary, taking exams just to pass tests, and, and it's it's proven already that, you know, it's it's not it's not fun, and it wasn't really. So English conversation is fun, and that's yeah. why you call it a club. That's right. Yeah, because because what 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 they come what they do here is um you apply as a member. And obviously, you you come and learn in the class with me and and my other colleagues. And um, there are also many other facilities and benefits that you can that you can uh, receive, like um, you could borrow DVDs home, or we I mean I do a TV show on on Channel Five. It's called Chris Delivery, and we can watch all the episodes in the computer. And there are so many other uh, fun uh, sanuk, as we call it in Thai, sanuk or uh, fun practices that they could come and do. And once you're a member here. You could also um, join us on our activities, whether in Bangkok or up country. And even if you finish the course, you're still a part of the an alumni. a part of the club. Yeah, which you could always come back and join the activities. Do you find that students enjoy coming to class more when it's more about conversation, more about board games, more about watching DVD movies and things like that, than the the strict? Curriculum that uh, you know the degree programs, the certificate programs offer. Yeah, because I think I think um, it's it's been proven already that uh, to learn something well, I mean people learn things well when they're when they're in their relaxed mode, you see. And in order to relax people, you got to make things you know entertain. I, I call it edutaining, you know, or you know it has to be fun. But you can never forget to you know throw in all the the English material as well. But it has to be fun, and it has to be entertaining. And we have to try to simplify it, like you know, in America we have the kiss, the ki keep it simple, keep it simple stupid. stupid. Yeah, right. exactly right. But in Thailand, they've actually um, you know made something simple, which is just you know saying everyday phrases into something so complicated that all the students feel like they're so you know they're separated from it you know by by miles. You see, so so that's that's I'm trying to bring it back. You see, and trying to make it fun as well. Are you under different rules and regulations by the Ministry of Education than other schools, not clubs? Um, well, at the moment, because um, we, are, we are a club and we are a, a new club, we've only been around for a year. Um, I've actually been talking to the Ministry of Education about uh, you know different various courses and everything, but uh, to, to tell you the truth, we haven't we haven't actually received uh, um, their blessing. Their blessing, I would say, yeah, because. I, I mean, I guess I could I could say it's, it's, it's a bit. Sometimes it's a bit of a complicated process, or it's a bit slow. So, but it's 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 in the works. It's in the works now. One thing yeah. the ministry provides is a detailed list of credentials that yep. English teachers must have. Sure. Uh, so that when consumers go to buy an English language course, yep. they know what they're getting. Yep. Well, um, that is a very good standard. Okay, but. Um, what I'm trying to provide here is, uh, you know, we're not really teacher teachers. You know, it's more like a teacher brother sort of sort of relationship or teacher sister if the teacher is a lady, where you know we, we we teach you, but we also we're also like your friends where we could you know I mean we could coach you. We could you know if you have any problems, you would come to us and, and, and talk to us. And um, as I as I said, I, mean, I try to I try to bring it out from the the Ministry of Education theoretical education. English is a subject in class. Sort of concept, you see. So, so I, I try to pull it out, and and uh, there are some some I would call them ancient-minded or conservative.